Ah, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. All right, last video, went to the Delta, thought we were gonna go catch giant Delta spring fish, and didn't happen. Caught some really small ones, couple of maybe keepers, and overall just a really tough trip, which took me off guard. This time of year, the Delta should be going off. You should be seeing big waves of big females moving on up, chewing, the bite should be fantastic. Whether it be reaction or finesse, you should be able to just go out pretty much anywhere on the Delta and catch fish, and that just wasn't the case. But here we are, it's five days days later we're a little south of where we last fished gonna try a new location and uh, give it another crack at the old california delta so many places this time of year to choose from as far as fishing clear lake berryessa i mean even Folsom. you go to the motherlode lakes i'm sure there's a ton of great fishing going on but i don't know the delta always is kind of tapping on my shoulder especially this time of year to come on back and kind of tease that potential giant who knows if it'll happen today next week next month ever that's fishing right the mystery the unknown you never know what a day i'll the water will bring could be tough could be amazing just don't know about seven o'clock just pulled up i'm going to get the kayak set up on the dynamic dolly dipper in the water get out there give the california delta another shot take you guys with me of course and we shall see what happens Okay, here we go. folks <laughs> hey what I'm not even gonna make a long run I'm just gonna start right here by the ramp it's a man-made structure fish should be up shallow spawning any one of these days now I really am surprised that it hasn't happened yet or at least I haven't seen it yet today could be the day where they start actually getting on bed and committing it's gonna be a beautiful day got an incoming tide it'll top out at around 10 or 11 i think and then drop i think it's gonna hit 70 degrees so it's gonna be a warm day these fish should get a little uh, rambunctious up shallow if you know what i mean Well, it took me a little while to realize this, but it's uh, pretty obvious back here. 
dude, everything is dead. They must have nuked this like a week or so ago because all this grass is just like fried. And even standing up, you should see fish up shallow cruising, especially with this tide getting lower. And I haven't seen a single fish. I uh, probably won't go too much further and then it, it'll be time to start changing direction here because it is absolutely dead back here. not looking promising whatsoever back here. I don't see anything. These little pockets should hold fish. Just nothing. What up? Hi, Gregory. What's happening? How are you? Uh, just trying to understand why there's no fish in the back of the Delta in the sluice. Hmm, I wonder why. Well, it's pretty brown back here, so I'm guessing that's part of the reason. I haven't even seen a fish. That sucks. Dude, I think the bite's gonna change it clearly. I know, I saw the forecast this morning. It's gonna be like cold leading up. I know, dude, and they're moving up shallow from what I gather. Ah. I think it's gonna be harder than we think. Oh, well, what's new? Come tournament time. I had a pretty good plan set up. Now it's completely, I don't know what I'm gonna do. All right, well, do you got any advice for me on the Delta right now? Like, should I turn around and go towards the main channel? Cause it ain't happening back here. I would just go find some main channel ditches, dude. Some nice little two foot drop offs and fish those with a jig. All right, I'm gonna go check the very back of the slough. And if it doesn't happen, I'll go do that. All right, you're gonna catch one on black and blue jig in eight feet of water. All right, I'll try it. All right, have a good day. Goodbye. Bye. All right, that's the game plan, guys. Man, oh man, the Delta. Always a curveball, but sometimes that curveball is like a wicked curveball. And it seems like that might be it today. Yeah, this is supposed to be spawny. Spawny McSpawn. Not a single thing. Look, there's a bunch of four-inch bass right there actually saw some life. That was the surprising thing about last trip. We were catching like four to six inch bass. <laughs> it's like, where did those dudes come from? Oh, there's one. There's a okay, finally a good one. Really spooky. Ooh, that's not good. And definitely some spawning territory here. I don't know. That one, I would guess that's not on a bed you guys can probably see that fish nice three pounder oh there's two of them you know what those two might be on a bed maybe I've said that a million times this year and every time it's not really been true if they were that could have been it under that stick they're hanging out together though just don't know exactly what they're doing Well, there's definitely beds here i mean those are beds no question if they're on them that's the question are you actually on the bed That is very odd. I just come back to that area where I thought for sure at least these fish would be cruising around and they have disappeared. I had a little one. Okay, something finally bit. <laughs> Morale booster time. You know what you do in a morale booster situation, right guys? Ego meat stick. Street taco meat sticks. or every keeper I say. I don't know if doing this is gonna be very productive. 
All right, it sucks back here. Well, let's go. This is one we marked or saw earlier. And that was one we saw earlier. Came back around and got him. Yep, I bet you that was one we saw earlier. He had a buddy with him too. Ooh, he didn't want to get boat flipped. Those are the beds. <laughs> Not a giant, but I'll take him. There's a few more over here, but I'm pretty sure he just blew out this spot. No purple worm. Purple worm. What the heck? I don't think it was a big one. Almost hit this like a top water. A little purple worm. Gotcha. Schmedium. Actually, what am I talking about? That's a small fish, eight incher. Purple worm's the ticket so far today. That's the winning day drop shot. How you doing, coach? Oh, I'm alive. Yeah, it looked like uh, you were on the edge. My wife was in the shower. I go there, hey, am I bleeding or something? She goes, what the hell? <laughs> well, I'm glad you're still uh, kicking. No fishing oh. for a while. No, I, I might do tollage. I'm not supposed to get water in my ear for like two months. The one thing that they're really worried about is they're talking about lifting over 10 pounds. I can have somebody help me do all my boat probably won't catch a 10 pound fish, so eh. if I do, I don't care if my ear explodes when I'm pulling it in the boat. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you might care a little bit. <laughs> Maybe afterwards, but not right there. Definitely not going to do clear like this, but that's, that's just a dumb No, here, no, no. And it's going to rain on Friday, isn't it? Yeah, it's supposed to. It's supposed to go from like 80 degrees a day to a high of like 50. Oh my gosh. How's it been up there? Has it been good or has it been tough? I heard it's either really good or it's really bad. There's no in between. Oh boy, this isn't going to be as wide open as we all thought. Mike was telling me earlier he thought the same thing. Yeah. You guys will have a house Thursday night? Yeah, I was just going to ask you, do you care if we sleep in our trucks on Thursday? Yeah, I've got my daughter's bed and the couch and whatever you guys, whatever you guys are comfortable with. Yeah. I think we'll probably do that. Are you going to come hang out and play poker and stuff? Yeah, I'll come over Friday after my uh, deal. The Delta sucks right now. I kind of wish I went somewhere else. Yeah, well, you should have came to Clear Lake. I'll be there soon. You could have sucked here today and then again this weekend. <laughs> What's your advice for catching a Delta fish right now? I'm leaving this like dead end slough. I'm going to go out to the main channel. <laughs> Wait, well, what's the tide? Is it high or low? It's high right now, and it's about to drop, I think, in the next hour. I'm trying to find a little current break on the island points. I've seen fish back here, but they are, like, so spooky. They're not locked on beds. They're just kind of crew. I saw one giant, but I can't catch those fish. Yeah, no, if you see them, you're never going to catch them. Ah, uh, Delta, stingy. Well, oh, man. Well, I'll hit you up tomorrow or Thursday and let you know what the game plan is, but I think we'll we'll probably come up Thursday night if that's cool. Yeah, no, no problem. All right, man. All right, talk to you later. Later. Yeah. All right, well, we're leaving this slough. Let's find some life. All righty, let's listen to Michael Lenson. If we catch a big one, we're going to buy Mike dinner when we go to Clear Lake. If you guys haven't figured that out yet, that's the next uh, video, next tournament coming on up. The Native Watercraft No Limit Big Bass Power Hour. Yeah, that's a mouthful up at Clear Lake. And uh, myself and Mike will be participating. Coach is recovering right now, so he's going to have to sit this one out. And I don't know about the other fellows. They're still on the fence. It's so crazy. If you didn't know any better, like kind of day like this, you never come to the Delta before. No one told you anything about it. You had no idea what to expect. You'd think, yeah, California Delta really doesn't hold a lot of bass. Not a big population of bass in the California Delta. I mean, obviously that's not true, but man, when it's off, it's off. I have no clue why it's off right now. It makes zero sense. There are swarms and swarms of carp around here. Shallow carp, gotta be shallow bass, right? You know that. Shallow carp, gotta be shallow bass. Oh, 
There's another one. Seeing a lot of fish now, but seeing them is one thing. Getting them to bite, totally different. I don't like the demeanor of the fish today. Cruising around, kind of in that little funk. You don't really know what to do. Thinking about spawning, really not thinking about eating. It's like that weird period of time between the pre-spawn when they're fattening up, just gorging, and then when they're on bed and they're super easy to catch. And right there, two of them right. Oh my God, they're so spooked. That one got it. <laughs> the big one spooked. Like I'm saying, there's like this weird period where this doesn't last long, thankfully, but between these two epic times where they just munch, where they don't eat hardly at all, and they're just in a weird funk. Usually it has to be with clear water here on the delta, but yeah, these fish are not really interested in eating. Not my baits, at least. There's a good one right there. See, there's some good ones cruising around. That's... So sad when they don't bite. Oh, we got it! Oh, I didn't actually sight this one. Okay, maybe I lied. Maybe they are gonna eat. <laughs> sight fishing, but not on beds. There we go. All right, There's definitely some fish around here. I cannot believe that fish bit. 99 out of 100 times when you see a fish cruising and it's clear water and you cast towards it, they don't eat your bait. <laughs> Can't believe that one ate. Thank you, sir. It's funny, I can just literally see them cruising right around. I'm actually coming up and checking the boat out. These ones I can't get to go. They're a little too big, a little too smart, I think. They're in that funky mood, that in-between mood. No point in trying to catch them. Not catchable, in my opinion. Day's turning around. Nothing giant, but man, happy to have them. Indeed. I think if we can land on one or land near one without them suspecting us, our best shot at getting a bite. See, it's not even worth fishing for them, you know? You gotta keep moving. They know I'm here, they're not biting. Don't even try. Keep covering water, make a mental note, and come back through here a little bit later when they forget about you. Or hopefully they forget about you. found the fish. I think they're taunting me. Oh, look at that one. That's a giant right there. Son of a gun. Man. They're just, they're not really biting. I'm confused. I thought they kind of were biting and then Oops, there's one. But every time I say they're biting or they're not, they change my mind. Uh, not the real big ones though. The real big ones are playing hard to get. Oh, there's that giant. That son of a gun. Alright, I'm just gonna keep my mouth shut. Just fish. Don't try to explain why or why not. Just go fishing. Alright, 
guess I'm gonna have to wash my clothes today. You know what I mean? Sure you do. You don't have to wash your pants, your fishing clothes after a day of fishing. Probably wasn't a good day. Is that bad? That one might be out of bed. I think that's a bad fish. Come on, get it. Look, there's the female, I think. Maybe that's what's going on here. I may have actually found a bed. Maybe. It's really hard to say. Oh, I think it is a bed. They're both looking at it. They're both back here. Checking her out. I think that was a good one. They want to hit that so bad. What the heck? Where are you guys going? Don't leave. Where the heck are you going? Big one was most interested in the jig. I could try something real crazy, real quick. Well, I got it. Time of year. I can't see a defined bed, but it certainly looks like it's about to be a bed. Like those two want to be right there. That's all I need you to do. That is so weird. He's not eating the tail. They always, like, nine out of ten times eat the tail. He's eating, like, the head. He literally had the whole thing in his mouth like a bone. He's not eating the part he's supposed to eat. How funny is that? Camera too hot for real. Dude, how do I not have any EWG hooks? Wow, I did not come prepared. I guess we can try to make this one work. Dang it! That was terrible. Ugh. How'd that happen? Son of a god, I actually got him to go. You win, sir. I suck at bed fishing. I hooked you, but he's not even biting now. Blew that one. Blew that one. It's toasty.
crazy what it looks like, especially at like a low tide. Shoot, while I'm here, maybe I'll try to catch that bedfish. The male's getting it. I don't want to catch the male. But I think I should just catch one and move on. I don't think the female's going to bite anymore. Had him. Man, I'm bad at bed fishing. Definitely got the wrong hook. Man, I cannot believe I didn't pack EWG hooks. I'm using a flipping hook. Silliness. Oh, I should have said he had it in his mouth all the way. A raccoon right there. <sighs> Got the mail. My God, that was hard. I don't know if she's going to bite now that the mail's gone. Oh, she did bite now that the male's gone. What is this? Oh, let's get back out. Get it, get it, get the huddle. Get the huddy. Get the huddy. Got him. Got another chance at him. Oh, no. No. Oh, I got you. I had him in the mouth, too. Oh, that was so much work for that fish. Finally. There we go. Oh. All right, back you go. Thank you. I'm done. I'm done. Just had to work on my bed fishing skills, and apparently I need a lot of work. Ladies and gentlemen, that is going to do it for today's day out on the Delta. Man, it's never straightforward out there. It doesn't matter what time of year. I keep hyping up the spring and how epic it should have been or could be, which yes, there are definitely days where it is on fire, but more often than not for me, obviously, as of lately, not been the case. Been having to really work for these fish, cover some water, try a bunch of different things, and today was no exception. Came here, launched the kayak about 7.30, and uh, just got fishing. Got on the water, got fishing. Well, right here, actually, some of these docks, some of this man-made structure, throwing a weightless worm up shallow. Figured even a couple of dinks would get at it, but I went a long time and a lot of casts without catching anything. Covered more water, kept working my way back, and as soon as I started looking around, I did notice that a lot of the vegetation was dead. They definitely sprayed back here. Didn't have that nice greenery that you want. Now, that all said, there were still fish back here. I eventually found some fish, stood up, started looking around. There were fish around, but not many. A couple, two, three here and there, and really just those few fish that we caught in that dead end slough were on what I resorted to when it gets really, 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 really tough. It's a tiny little purple worm on a drop shot rig. So that came in play for us. Worked my way all the way to the dead end. Absolutely nothing promising. Decided this game plan, fishing this dead end slough. Big mistake. So I think around 1130, we decided to leave, go in the opposite direction, make the two, three mile run back to the launch, and then go towards the main channel. Really nothing for at least another hour and a half. Finally worked my way into an island. These islands are definitely good areas just like these dead end sloughs for fish to get up shallow, start to spawn, start to stage. And that was the ticket right there. Glad that we didn't give up. It was 12 o'clock. I felt like I really wasted half the day already just fishing unproductive water. But sometimes that's what you got to do. Even from a kayak where it can't cover a lot of water, you got to try to cover as much as you can. So happy that we covered that water because inside that island, there was a bunch of fish, tons of fish. Most of them, I think, were pre-spawn or just staging, getting ready to spawn. A lot of cruisers, still really tough fish to catch. It's not like you just throw out there 
there and catch them. And with them being so finicky, water being relatively clear, what better time or place to throw the five inch weightless worm. Today it was the general in green pumpkin. Now it's catching them. I mean, nothing huge, but some keepers, a couple of decent ones in the mix. And then I'd say the highlight of the day was probably actually finding two fish, a male and a female, locked on a bed. First pair I've found all year. And you know what was funny was they were in a place or a location that I would not have guessed bedding fish. They were actually right by a current break. I guess they didn't mind. They had a bed made. I just couldn't help myself. I enjoy sight fishing. I don't like doing it all the time. It definitely can get a little boring and a little straining on the eyes and the mental. But I haven't done it all year. I haven't done it in a while. So it was fun to actually try to bed fish for those fish. In a way, a little bit of a practice too for some potentially bed fishing tournaments coming on up. I'll tell you one of the best bed fishing baits or at least baits that draws the fish back to the bed when they get all spooky is that six inch weedless Huddleston Deluxe. It got the bigger tail with a little treble stinger because nine times out of 10, the bigger fish will bite the tail. What was funny was the female, she'd bite that Huddleston, but she was biting the meat of the body. It's almost like she knew there was a hook in the tail, which she very well could. She ate it a few times, never got a hook in her, never even swung on her, but decided to rig up a Texas rig ghillie. I think it was the first throw into the bed. The female ate it. I hooked into the fish and it popped right out. Not sure what was going on with that, but that kind of pushed the fish off the bed. Then I decided to get a little drone footage, so I just pulled over, got some drone footage, noticed that those fish had moved back to the bed, took out the ghillie again, ended up catching the male. And to my surprise, after I caught the male and the female was sitting there alone for a little bit, threw in, female bit, got the female in halfway to the boat, and she actually jumped off onto the bank, scrambled over, got her, and yeah, finally got those fish. Probably spent way too much time on those fish, probably a lot more than I should have, but it was fun nonetheless. And then after that, did a little bit more bed fishing. I think I found a couple more on beds that were actually locked. One on the ghillie, another solid fish, and then a lot of the other fish that I was catching were either sight fishing or blind fishing at five inch general. And that brought us right to about 4.30. That was the day. It was a long day. It was a day of two tails. Half the day spent completely wasteful. The other half relatively productive. But as I always say and will continue to say, that is the delta. It's not very straightforward. It looks so fishy. Everywhere you go, it looks like there should be a fish somewhere, but just not the case. Not how it works out here. Guys, that is the video as kind of hinted in this video, talking to old Michael Ensing and Justin, the coach Dutcher next videos next fishing trips for me are up to clear lake for the native no limit big bass power hour tournament i think the last time i checked there was like 150 people signed up so that will be the next video coming out little break from the delta but as always i thank you guys for watching for coming along and i'll see you guys in the next one up at clear lake